This is Twit. Elon Musk's SpaceX finally launched the reusable Falcon 9 rocket last night. The rockets carried NASA's $340 million Deep Space Climate Observatory. Joining us to talk about this and other stories is Ian Thompson from The Register. Thanks for joining us, Ian. Always a pleasure. So tell us uh, how many times these launches were scrapped and and what uh, happened to the, last night. <laughs> yeah, well, Sunday the radar went down on the site, so they had to scrub the launch then. And then they had very high winds in the higher levels of the atmosphere that scrubbed the launches, uh, another, uh, uh, held the launch right back until yesterday, in fact. Um, and even then, it wasn't ideal circumstances because they had to abandon an attempt to land the rocket because of very heavy seas out off the Florida coast. Um, so the ret retrieval barge, just read the instructions, couldn't be safely landed on. As, by the reports I was getting, they got 50-foot waves breaking over the top of it. So um, that had to go out. But less a, less a perfect launch from SpaceX. All went as planned. It's their first uh, mission where they managed to put the satellite out into beyond low Earth orbit. Um, and it's a, very, it's a crucial launch for the company. Um, it really does mean that they're now pretty much ready for anything in the rocketry field. Yeah, you went quickly through the the barge was called just read the instructions, right? So those super those non super nerds out there, what what was that named after? Oh, uh, okay. This is a personal personal god of mine, Ian Banks, um, the Scottish science fiction author, who thought up some marvelous names for the ships in the various books that he had, like Ultimate Ship the Second or um, some in fact, which are rather too rude to put on air. But um, I would highly recommend Ian Banks' culture series, and Elon Musk is a huge fan, which is why he started to uh, to name his space his, his space facilities after in the, after ships names that uh, Ian Banks either used or probably would have approved of. Mm -hmm. So what is this satellite meant to do? Um, well, the satellite actually is a bit outdated. It was originally envisioned by Al Gore in 1998 uh, to monitor solar winds. And that's what it's going to do, but it's been in storage for the last 10 years for budgetary and political reasons. Um, what it'll do is sit about a million miles away from the Earth, between us and the Sun, being held in position by the twin gravitational attractions of the Sun and the Earth. And it'll give us warning if there's a solar storm heading our way. Um, typically, depending on its, on its position and the, and the Earth's position, about 15 to 60 minutes warning, which may not sound like much when you've got a massive solar storm coming in, but it would be enough to pull some breaker switches, you know, get some of the electrical grid down and protected, buy guns and food if it's a really serious one, you know. Mm -hmm. 